Hey friends, welcome back. Um, today, I brought you along, I figured I'd bring you along. I'm already red faced and sweaty, but today I figured I'd bring you along while I worked in the garden. The tomatoes needed some attention. I had to um, prune them and get all the dead leaves off. And I also pulled off some of the suckers and replanted them for a few, for a later tomato crop. Um, right now I'm just watching the goats eat. I think up here is the most peaceful place on this property. We've got a little bench sitting here beside the where the goats um, pasture is. We've also got some turkeys turned out, the red bourbon and um, some black osterlorp. I think I'm saying that right. Roosters. We're still looking for some hens. We, we haven't found any yet though. But um, straight across from here, I'll show you. So straight across from here, you'll see that driveway going all the way up the mountain, which you can't see it because the leaves are on, is our cabin. You can't even see it right now. But look at these goats trying to get up in there. Hopefully someday soon, we'll be able to move up in our cabin. Everything is just taking a lot longer than we anticipated, but we only get to work on it like one day a week. It's all in God's time, and He will, whenever it's time for us to move up there, we, everything will just bam, 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 fall into place, and we'll get everything done. But we're really excited to get to live up there. It's just pure peace up there. It's so quiet. It's just pretty much pure peace up there. It's so quiet. Basically, all you can hear is the birds and maybe if a deer, there was a, a, a doe walking around our yard a couple days ago up there at the cabin. My son saw it, but um, I figured I would just bring you along this evening as we done um, garden chores, barn chores, and um, I hope you enjoy the video. So I figured I'd bring you along while I prune these tomatoes. And all I do is take some old scissors, cut the bad ones off. I usually just feed them to the chickens. And also, you can take these little suckers. Let's see if I can. You can take these little suckers right here, pinch them off. You can stick them in the ground, I mean, in some dirt, put some water to them, and you will have another tomato plant. And we just plant them um, over in the other garden. So that way you have like a later tomato patch coming in. That way they're not all coming in at once. So, that one looks much better. So this is our celebrity tomatoes. There's 48 of these planted. They are like a later, for us, they come in later. So they're only like half the size of our uh, big boys, our um, mortgage buster. Let's see, what else is there over there? Whop, Parks Whopper, I can't even say that. Parks Whopper. But um, these will do great though. Once they start coming in, they're hanging in knots, like I can't keep up with them. But these are the celebrity and this, I'm trying to get these pruned before it rains. So I'm working on this row of tomatoes before the rain comes in. So we're supposed to get some rain, but I'm gonna try to get these 48 pruned because they do have some leaves I'll show you that are starting to turn yellow and I wanna get them off there. And I wanna pull off any suckers and I'll show you how we replant them. So as I go along, if these need tied up, which they do, this one right here needs, all of them do basically. I'm gonna go ahead and tie them up, prune them, 
and hopefully after this rain, that'll give them a jump start to become, last year they turned into, this row turned into tomato jungle. There was tomatoes everywhere and each plant was way over, was way over these panels. So there. I take off all these ugly leaves. So I got that big pile uh, pruned off of them. And I also got some suckers. So I'll show you what we do with those. We just <coughs> stick those down in here. And I'll water them. This one's tiny. it really well. I have to, I have to include this little story as I'm walking through here. The other day I was walking through here to go check on the garden. I had my grandson on my hip, minding my own business, and I got down here to the end of the chicken coop and I heard something running up the wood, but I didn't, it didn't recognize to me. By the time I got right here, a squirrel, a gray squirrel. About the time I got right here, a gray squirrel jumped from there onto my head. Scared me to death, but it was funny. So we plant those suckers right here. I'll show you. I'll show you how good they're doing. So here's some case put in the ground a couple weeks ago look how good they're doing so I think I think that little man was right I had never heard of anybody doing that so so is that something you do or you've heard of maybe we're late to the game uh, have you ever heard of anybody pulling the suckers off the tomatoes and planting them we're gonna try it because they we're gonna try it because they look pretty healthy and I would love to have a later crop of tomatoes coming in so they don't come in all at once. Uh, the garden looks like, yeah, I know you do. So our blueberries are turning. We've been getting a little bit each day. I've got some green boys that love them. We tied this grocery bag here to keep the birds away and so far it has worked. So here's where we keep the newborn turkeys. We just hatched those out yesterday. So we got 13 new baby turkeys. And I want to thank you so much for watching and I want to say hello to all the new subscribers and also thank you for choosing to subscribe and also thank you to my other subscribers that's been with me a while. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a blessed day 
and I'll see you on the next one.